Committee of Natural Resources has expressed the need to have the Uganda Construction Industry Control Bill, which has been, uh, it has stayed in the shelves since 2001. Now, Biarugaba said this during the stakeholders meeting organized to find ways of promoting transparency, accountability, and value for money within the construction sector in Uganda. One. Concealing information is the greatest challenge affecting the construction sector in Uganda. With the introduction of the Uganda Construction Industries Control Bill in 2011, many people thought this challenge would be solved. Honorable Alex Biarugaba, the chairperson for the Natural Resources Committee in Parliament, says since 2011, this bill has just been kept in the shell. Has uh, overstayed the parliament for the last five years now and I think this uh, it's a high time I think we revive it and the only way we can do it is through a petition to the speaker that this bill be brought for the first reading in parliament and so that uh, we can reduce on the inconveniences being faced by public procurement and the construction of public pro programs and even private programs which talks about the uh, information sharing during a stakeholders meeting attended by constructors, including civil engineers in Kampala, they exchanged ideas on how to deal with issues of information disclosure. Mrs. Sera Mukasa, who works with the civil society, says there is need to put up a mechanism to enable information sharing within the construction sector. What is happening is that as we are sharing the workshop, there has been a lack of information. People don't have the right information which they can use to engage. But also, uh, even I mentioned this in the, in the meeting, that civil society and the citizens have been taking keen interest to know what is that that affects them and how best they can. issues are concerned. And for us to be able to monitor and supervise some of these projects well, we need the most solid detail regarding the project information. If you are talking about a road, you need to know its size, you know it, to know the thickness, the width, the thickness of the, 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 the tarmac. Coast Uganda chairperson Honorable Nathan Ibyanyima urges government to ensure that there is a strong regulatory body in order to promote value for money, accountability and transparency within the construction sector. What we want is that body to be the regulator of the old contracts. People who do a bad job, they should be cautioned first, whether they can be in a But what we want is for it to come and make sure that there is a consortium. These local companies, are not, some of them don't have enough capacity to manage. So if they can amalgamate and come as a consortium, three, four companies put themselves together and have a good management. The Chinese are very, very good. They can be very, very good. Chinese only need a lot of monitoring. Supervise them, demand what you, you have agreed to do with them, and they will give you the best. But if you don't, most certainly, just like your own, on, on, on work, it must be supervised, it must be uh, visited every other day, you must have to monitor it, its progress and the challenges that you encounter along the way. You must. And that's what maybe has, is lacking in our own system. Once it is the contractors to be governed by a commission, so that construction commission is being to be prepared into a view that will go to parameter and pass. Abdul Latif Mukasa, Record TV. Come